Hello everybody, I'm the Travel Gamer, and welcome back to Ghost of Tsushima. If you're clicking this, I just want to remind you that we are just looking for collectibles and anything else we missed during the base game. I don't think people need a reminder after all this time, but still nice to give them a little hint that this is just going to be a filler thing, like we're just finishing up. Now, the last episode, I kind of ended on talking about Fallout 76 and saying that the dude that I played with was pretty cool. Sally, I still don't remember his name, but point is, dude was cool, had a good time with Fallout 76, despite all the problems I had with the game. Now, recently, I've been playing it with a relative of mine because we figured, hey, we both want the Platinum with this game. We might as well play together and help out, but as of recent, I've had a pause with that, mainly to finish this game up. Second, the life kind of came around and I couldn't play with him as much, so yeah, we. I don't know. Oh, oh, whoa, 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 no, no, no. We're not surviving that. You are not surviving that, little buddy. Like, you could survive a cliff. I could believe that, but you're not surviving this. Not for a long shot. And in fact, I think this is pretty much where I'm going to have to leave you because I got to take this path myself. So chill out, horse dude. I'll be back later. Like I was saying, like I was saying, so we started playing it together. Fun when you have someone to play with. Better than playing by yourself. However, life happens, which is exactly why I couldn't really play much with Lorenzo and our commentary with Bioshock. That life happens. Like, I got sick, he got sick. Then, you know, more things kind of went down. We're hoping to get this done maybe within the year maybe be, i don't know that's just the thing like i haven't had time to actually go and you know talk to him about time to hang out and get back on track because i don't think we have that many episodes left to do and then there's a the whole thing where oh we have to do bioshock 2 because he wants to do bioshock 2 as well and then there's a the whole thing with bioshock infinite like he wanted the whole bioshock games because he never played them and then there's this other dude, Dr. Despair, that I've been planning on doing videos too with. It's just, I have not had the time. And, you know, he used to live close by. It was relatively close for me to walk to, hang out, and chill. But he's moved out of town for a while. And, you know, every time I go and see him, it's like, I, I really don't want to record. Like, that's, like, I, I want to see my friend. I want to hang out. I don't want to be stressed with recording videos. I don't want to stress him out with it. Like, I just want to chill and hang for the time being you get what i mean like don't get me wrong i love doing these videos but i also love hanging out with my friends more than doing these videos so yeah everything's kind of a scheduled nightmare at the moment but hopefully they'll get resolved soon and if not well they're still being planned for that's the least i could say of course the straight way there is not going to be the way to go we have to go and take the you know, scenic route, the obscure route, you know? Don't fall, though. Don't fucking fall, you nerd. As if we haven't fell, like, a hundred times during this playthrough alone. I made the joke at one point that I was going to probably fall to my death. I don't know if I got into the final cut for the recording, but I know I made the joke at least once. I don't know if it was out loud or if it was in my head, but I should have knocked on wood because damn was I right was I was going to fall to my death. <sighs> Roll of thumb, never make jokes that kind of kick your own ass because chances are the universe would say, yeah, you make a joke about it, you make a lie of the situation, you know what? I'm just going to kick your own ass. So here, you're going to fall to your death so many times it's going to stop being funny, Anthony. And I'm like, why? Why do you gotta be a bitch, universe? I didn't deserve it. I was making light of a bad situation, you know. Ah ha ha, I messed up situation. Why do you have to take it so far up the ass, man? And the universe said, You didn't knock on wood, bitch. You didn't knock on wood. Really? Yeah. That's all it takes. You didn't knock on wood, so I'm gonna make your life a living hell. Fall to your death again, asshole. Well, joke's on you. I did it with this shrine, so fuck off. Go here next. 
So here's a little funny story. You know how I think it was episode 100. I said, oh, I found a way to get my videos to upload faster. The upload time is now shorter. Something funny happened. So I was using the handbrake tool to basically compress the video itself. But there was a little issue with the <laughs> final result, so it kind of cut off the end screen that I have slightly. And while the rest of the video looked great, the end screen did not, and that kind of bothered me a bit. The funny thing is, I thought I had to go back and fix everything. You, you want to know what the problem was? <laughs> the problem was is that all, all I had to do was click the crop option and s just put none. Just don't crop anything at all. Because it, it was set to automatic. I was like, oh, whoops. So I went back. I kind of fixed everything. So now everything's looking great from my end. These fuckers are here. Hi. Look, guys. I'm not going to lie. I'm kind of just done with you. Like, I'm done with all of you assholes. I, I dealt with all of you. Uh, unless you're going to pull out some new gimmick out of your asses, you're kind of boring. Just being honest with you dudes. Now, if you, I don't know, started fucking being more of a challenge, maybe I'd be more intimidated, but you're not. But, you know, I have to give you props on something. You're all persistent. Now, how many enemies have just called it quits and left, even though everything is against it? Like, I gotta give you guys some credit as you die. <laughs> Y'all are very persistent, and that's something I can at least respect. Find it annoying? Yeah. But respect nonetheless. So, we got that. We need this. Did I edit this part or did I just leave it in? Hold on. Because this part, I usually just like edit to the point where you don't see anything. Again, I don't think anybody cares. But you know, oh. Damn. Sora, you are a brave companion, a good friend. Maybe I'll see you soon. Not gonna lie. When my horse fucking died. It hurt a lot more. Than my own best friend betraying my ass. Damn game. Really gotta do me dirty like that? Like, okay, I can handle everything. I can handle being hated by my... Well, not really hated by my... But basically disowned by my uncle. I could handle my best friend betraying my ass, but did you have to kill my horse, dude? Like, all of that shit. Like, I could tank, but the horse, man. He was by my side since the beginning. That shit fucking hurt. Hey. Ah, you sons of bitches. I, I think it's the worst is that it wasn't an enemy that really did it. It was somebody that was supposed to be allies that did it. Or was it the Shogun assholes? You bitch. I don't even know who the hell did it. Yeah, you know, face-wise, name-wise. I don't know who the Archer was. I don't know who did I just know that was a fucking Shogun dudes. Or somebody. Like, it had to have been somebody there at the castle. That's just it. Like, I, I don't fucking know. I really wish I found out who did it so I could get a good fucking hit. But, hey, that's not the way of the samurai. But at this point, hey, you, you know what? I've broken so many codes. Who gives a shit? Again, I don't think I killed the dude. But I make sure that his fucking hand never worked again. Oh, it's a good thing you called out. I would have so missed you. I am that blind sometimes. I'm forever indebted to you. You don't have to worry about it. Much, but please, take it. Thank you. Y you know what? For the most part, the NPCs in this game have been likable. For the most part, the NPCs have been likable. Still pissed off at the ones that, you know, 
call for the spirit of, you know, revenge or vengeance on my ass. So it's like, you motherfuckers. You ungrateful motherfuckers. I get it if that mission was on the third island. That would make some sense. Like, I wouldn't be so angry because I would have understood where the fuck they're coming from. Like, yeah, your attack on the assholes led them here, destroying our village, destroying our people. I get where the sense of vengeance might come from, but from the second island? Nah, no, no, no. That did not make a lick of sense. Granted, yeah, we still drove them from the first island to the second island. You know, part of the land, not literal. God damn it, what is wrong with me? Uh, the point is, you cannot deny that the third place was a whole lot worse than the second place. Like, this place got fucked. So, when I think that this bitch, this bitch, come here, come here. A minute ago, I was saying, oh, maybe if you guys were a threat, I'd be intimidated. I got my fucking wish. He was more of a threat, but still a bitch. What was I saying before I got my ass kicked? Right. If it were placed on the third island, I'd get it and be less pissy about it. The second island, maybe they have some point, but at the same time, they didn't have to deal with all this shit. Like, third area got fucked. And I know I'm saying island. You get what I mean when I'm saying island. Part of the area, the third location that got unlocked. You get what I mean. I don't think I have to clarify. So, sorry if island's wrong. It's just... What the... F oh, you fuckers. Go away. I'm not dealing with you assholes. I'm following my fox friend. Following my fox friend. I don't have to do with you. Fuck off. God, you know what? God damn it. If I lose this fox. That's one. Where the other bitches went off to. Oh, I killed one and they run away like a little pack of assholes. Fucking dickheads. I'm sorry, fox dude. I had to. I get the feeling that if I didn't. That if I followed you to the end. It would say, oh, you can't do this because you're being attacked or some bullshit like that. Just my guess. Oh, hi. I get to pet you. I love you. You're my little buddy. You're my little buddy. Have a happy life. Chill. Be a cool little dude. Take care. I love the foxes in this game. They're cute. They're adorable. I wish every game would let you pet animals. Just like, hey, fuck it. We know you're on a journey here, but here, pet a dog. Pet a cat. Fuck it. Pet an elephant. We don't give a shit. Pet all the animals. We don't care. Go ahead. Pet the bear. Yeah, we let you pet the bear. Go on. Touch it. Touch the bear. <laughs> it's not gonna harm you. Why would you think the bear would harm you? <laughs> the bear's just like g giving the player like a bad, nasty look of teeth, like sharp ass teeth. Players are like, I don't think I want to pet the bear. Pet the bear. Do it. It's there for you. We programmed so you could pet him. How do I make it docile? Docile? The fucking bear. You're not gonna fucking let you be like have it as a pet, you dumbass. Well, why, why, why would I want to pet it when it's obviously going to maul me to death? I it might maul you to death, but it'll be a cool mauling. Why? <laughs> uh, I remember this one game back when I was a kid. It was on, like, PC. It was a computer game. Old-ass computer game called Zoo Tycoon. Loved playing that game. I had, like, I think I had the first one or the second one. I don't remember. I just remember that I came with two extra discs with it. One for one that was for aquatic animals and another that had like a prehistoric thing where you could get dinosaurs and all that stuff. I liked them both. But I had more fun with the fucking dinosaurs. Like I would mess more with dinosaurs than anything. And then the regular game with the regular game. I remember as a kid, I watched Madagascar, and I still have the game, so I tried to recreate an exhibit with Madagascar. So, having a hippo, lion, zebra, and giraffe in the same enclosure, not knowing that, hey, that ain't gonna work. That ain't gonna work, buddy. They're gonna kill each other. The game doesn't let you do it either, so it's like, hmm. 
but I remember being so damn on it, like trying to get them all in one cage together. Because I saw a Madagascar, I was like, I want that. Name the zebra Marty, name the, the lion Alex, the hippo Gloria, and you know, the the fucking giraffe Melvin. Well, I didn't know how to spell it, so it was Mel Man. <laughs> because I was a dumbass who didn't know how to spell. But yeah, had fun with that. I remember when the dinosaur one, I became a little sadistic asshole with it because I would purposely like let the T-Rex go. I don't remember if it was part of the game where you had to have somebody to come by and, you know, in case an animal got out, they would knock him out with a drink gun or something. I don't know if you had one by default or if I got rid of them. I can't remember. I just remember that I would make sure that they were the farthest away from the T-Rex. While this shit went down. So I was watching as like all the virtual tourists, all the little visitors got their shit wrecked by this fucking T-Rex. Ah, uh, good times. Good times. Eventually, I got real close to Tycoon 3. And then my attention went to that game. That game, I... Excuse me, dear. I was moving this way. Why are the deer so hell-bent on running into the horse? It's like they want to get hit. But like I was saying, then I went to Roller Coaster Tycoon 3. And my sadistic tendencies followed. Because I started using roller coasters to take down the, you know, park doors. And it's like, Anthony, what's wrong with you? They didn't do anything. And it's like, yes, they did. They annoyed me. These little fucks annoyed me. Especially, I had this beef. With this one peep. I don't remember why. I think I just remember that his name was Anderson And. Or I, as I like to call him. Andy Ann. And I had the biggest beef with him. I think it's because. Maybe he complained. You bitch. You bitch. I want to say. Maybe it's because he complained. And I just got a tad bit annoyed with his complaint. Like I figured that my park was perfect it was beautifully made everything was well i think it was some stupid little complaint too that really got on my nerves i don't remember what it was all i just remember is that after he started fucking complaining about my park i thought oh you want to complain about shit you want to complain about shit motherfucker not with those words because at the time i still wasn't cursing but i was like okay you want to play games you want to play games i would isolate them Put them like on a high ass mountain far away from the ground. I like mess with this dude. Like I would cage him up, completely isolate him from the rest of the park. Like I would put like little bars like around it. Like honestly, I didn't have to go that extra. All I had to do was like put like one little path in the middle of nowhere and connect it to nothing. And he would still been stuck. But I felt like, nah, nah, this bastard, this son of a bitch had the gold to insult my park. After I put all my blood, sweat, and tears in it, he deserves the extra treatment. The other dude that I like to put in this little square timeout zone was the uh, park critic, or the dude with the brown suit that walked around and looked at the whole place. Like, I put him in there after he said, uh, the park scene doesn't match with everything. And I was like, uh, theme? Or something along those lines. All I know is that Kid Me was placing every single ride everywhere it doesn't matter if it was a pirate ride it'll be right next to the space ride it'll be next to the halloween stuff like ah oh, dude seriously i didn't know you long but you were brave Tucker. dude another one of these is just like a fucking slap to the face i hope you knew that that's all the time we're gonna have for this video so thanks for watching everybody i'll see you next time take care please like and subscribe and have a great day.